I'm warming up my glutes. No, we're not. Let me show you why everyone is doing their banded glute work wrong. Michael out here from the prehab guys. So banded glute activation stuff, super, super popular and can also be very beneficial in certain rehab programs. Also as a warm up before any sort of SNC program. But most of you guys are all doing this stuff wrong and the issue becomes the band. The way bands work is they provide resistance. So if I push out, it's going to be pushing me in. They provide resistance only when we push out against them. So the key with all these things and side steps is the usually most bastardized one. Right here, there's no resistance on the band at all, right? This band is super loose on me. In order for me to get resistance on it, I need to actively engage and externally rotate and abduct. So externally rotate would be this, abduct would be out my hips in order to have any sort of tension on the band. And not only that, but I probably need to take a slightly wider stance to actually put some tension on the band. So I'm gonna rewind. The external rotation abduction, this motion is the most important aspect of any sort of banded work. If you're not actively pushing out against the band, you just have a band passively against you, you're not doing anything. So right now, I'm gonna turn everything off, my hips. I'm just gonna go wide. If you came over here and filled my glutes, they're soft, they're smushy. There's nothing going on in there. It looks like I'm pushing out against the band, but I just took a super wide stance and I'm super lax right now. So you need to be here and actively pushing out and now they're firm and we have something to go. So that's step one. This base position has to be mastered. What we also see in this base position is notice my feet, I'm not going like this. A lot of times you tell people to push out against the band, they'll go like this. They'll go, they'll go on the outside part of their foot. This is almost similar to just pushing out. You're just relying on your anatomy and where your actual legs are in position to get the band out. You're not actually pushing. So you need to have an active foot. You need to spread that band, but your feet, that floor pressure really isn't changing. Yeah, we're going into a little bit more uh, relative inversion at the ankle, but that floor pressure, if you had a floor map, it's not really changing and we're just doing this. So you need to stay here the entire time. Holding this, I don't know if I'd be able to hold this for more than 30 seconds talking to you guys. That's how hard it should feel anytime you're doing band and glute work. So when it comes to sort of side steps or monster walks of what we're doing, this tension has to be on the band at all times. So if here, if I'm in my base position, I'm ready to go. If I'm gonna do a monster walk going this way, this tension needs to be on the entire time. So I'm keeping this tension on the entire time. A lot of times what we see is we take a step, we have tension, and then we, the follow step is so big that I lost all my tension here. So I'm taking tension step, lost it. Tay of tension, lost it. We're not doing anything if I'm taking big steps like this while we do this. I'm gonna have Craig in here and demonstrate because I'm getting actually really tired. So Craig, I'm gonna give Craig the hip halo. We're gonna go through some of these monster walks. Let's do side steps first. This is the one that everyone likes to do. So again, so show the wrong one where we're taking a massive step and then we go in. So again, there's a split second here when your glutes are actually engaged and you're doing something. There's a split second right at that wide point, but the moment that band comes in, you lose all tension and the exercise has gone away. So again, Craig's gonna engage his glutes against the band. He's gonna keep this tension. If anything, he's gonna take smaller steps, especially with the follow step. It's that follow step that's important. That's the one that's gonna keep all the tension on the band. And secondly, it's another point I wanna make up. So if we go left, the glute, yes, we're working both of them in this position, but if we start going left, he's getting to the left through powering through this hip. He's not just pushing out his left side to get there, like doing a little standing, like hip abduction. We are doing a little bit of that, but he's trying to power through using this hip. So what you can do with people is you can give them that resistance and push off through me. They should be driving through the ground and through this knee, pushing out against the band. That's how you go the opposite direction. So if his goal is to go to the left, He's gonna use his right side to get there and pushing that ground away. Think of like you're skating or you're, um, yeah, think of like you're skating or skiing, like you're pushing that right side away. So it's this backside leg that you're working on. Another thing that I like to do, or that I wanna point out, is a lot of times in rehab, we use these as like a neuromuscular retraining drill, especially after something like a knee injury or an ACL injury. We're like, oh, we need to avoid valgus. Without getting into that, this valgus position is when this knee goes in like this. Most people, when they do this, so let, 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 let your knee follow when you go, you know what I mean? So again, this is that non-active back leg position. As Craig's going, he's not being active through his back leg, and we're just feeding into this dysfunction that we're supposedly trying, dysfunction that we're supposedly trying to fix by letting him go into the valgus. So that back leg is the most important one when you're doing these sidestep exercises. It should be strong, you should be pushing out against it, and then powering through. Anything else you wanna add? 
Yeah, that was actually nice because my hips were dying when I started <laughs> this way. So yeah, I think just always saying push off. I think as long as you really hammer home that idea, because you're right, it's so much. It's people are always so focused on the front doing leg, all the work with this side. But the whole point is you have to be strong through the left and then make this hip work eccentrically to slowly control that leg coming back in. So yeah, most people think, all right, if I'm going to the right, I'm working my right side. It's like, no, you're using your left here and then using your left again to slowly come, to slowly let your leg come in. And then also using your right to support yourself as you're in that stance position. And my hips are dead right now. Yeah, and they should be. When you're doing any sort of banded work, especially with these hip halos, I don't know if you guys have used these, these are freaking strong. You should be dead after literally 20 to 30 seconds of this. You should be like, my glutes are done. You cannot be doing these glute things. For, if you're doing them for a couple minutes and you're just like, huh, it looks so good, it looks so good in the gym, I'm doing all my glute work, it's because you're not doing it right. You're not actually pushing out against the band. If you're actually doing it, you should really be done after 20, 30 seconds. You should be like, ah, oh, that's tough. And again, a that's a little uh, trick. Oh yeah. Because they, I'll see people where the band feels uh, too loose. <laughs> so then you can crisscross it. And now it is going to be way so tighter. tighter. So we love these bands because of the cushion. It's, it's really friendly on my leg hair, but then I crisscross it. And now it's like, okay, I don't, I don't even want to do any more. I'm done. And if you're using things like this, like, so these have different resistances, by all means, you can use these too. Uh, sometimes with these, the resistance isn't enough, so you don't have that resistance. You can double it up. You can go one at the knees, one at the ankle. It doesn't really matter. There's some differences in where you put it, but it's just gonna provide more resistance. But the key is the same. Just because I have more bands doesn't mean that it's necessarily harder. I can have a ton of bands on me, and if I'm just being loose with it, it doesn't matter. That can be black, black, and it can look super hard and cool in the gym, but if I'm not pushing out, it's not doing anything. So again, please push out with your band and glute work. Make sure you're not just leaning out. Actually engage and drive through hip abduction and external rotation as you go out. Don't let that back leg come close because you lose all the tension, and it's the back leg doing all the work, not your front leg leading you. Your back leg's pushing you not following you. And I think just to reiterate one time, and Mike shows this, it's like, notice, I always tell people, keep that knuckle with the big toe down on the ground. So if I'm doing this, and then that's lifting up, is you may not see that in a shoe. So it's like, okay, get your shoe off, raise your arch, and can you go through this motion while keeping that big knuckle down on the ground? Then you're doing exactly what Mike is trying to uh, point out there. So get your band and glute work correct. Go in the gym, feel your glutes actually engage, feel them burn, and you'll know within 20, 30 seconds if you're doing it right. All right guys, so if you like this video, please give us a like. If you don't like it, please give it two dislikes in a row, which is a like, and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. Guys, we take your comments really seriously. We've been taking comments from Instagram, from YouTube channel, a lot of them actually from YouTube channel. If there are long form videos that you guys want us to hamper down, like just something as simple as this, but there's so many intricacies and things that we can look at to improve someone's band and glute work, let us know because we're gonna make a video on it. We're gonna try to kill it with YouTube this year. We got the best film out behind the camera over there. We will see you guys next week on Tuesdays.